Welcome back to the 1999 World Freestyle Wrestling Championships. Stephen Neal from the U.S. in the blue versus Andre Shemuel from Russia in the red. Oh, well, off to a quick start here in this match. Jim Shear and Larry Nugent bringing the action. Whoa, oh, Shemuel really got after it when he stuck this match. Well, the Russian bear did. Uh, we've been looking forward to this matchup for a long time. It's Stephen Neal, the freight train, the double leg from Bakersfield. Uh, against Shumilin, who really maintains great position and uh, has got a lot of international experience with. Stephen Neal's really out. This is his first year out. Yeah, first year for Neal, and he's had a great tournament. Shumilin, though, is one of the cagiest veterans around. He's third in the 93 and 98 World Championships, fourth in the 1996 Olympic Games, to Bruce Baumgartner, one of USA Wrestling's best heavyweights ever. Stephen Neal, though, has got a great double leg. He's young, he's strong, he's in great shape. And uh, he'll be tough to stop when he gets that freight train rolling. Shmuelin there with, uh, with a good sweep, one of his better moves. And uh, he can really knock the pegs out from, from some big men with that foot sweep. Because if he can compact their base and trip them, doesn't matter how big you are, you're still going to go down. Well, those are things that uh, Stephen Neal hasn't faced in uh, some of the competition that he's had. Uh, in his uh, career so far. Shamilin beat a world medalist in every match he wrestled in the World Championships this year. The heavyweight is a, is a tough weight class this year, and both these guys have gone through some great athletes to get to the finals. And uh, Stephen Neal, to make it to the finals in his first World Championships, first year out of college, that's quite a feat. There's that famous double leg, and uh, you know, Shamilin had his knees bent, he backed up just a little bit, turned around, and stopped it. And Shamilin had a lot of math to work with there, and I think if Neil can start it more in the middle and drive him through the zone and score. Well, being a former world medalist, Jim, uh, your strategy, I think, is, is the correct one. I don't know if I was all that well known for strategy, but <laughs> I think it'll work for Neil. I never had a freight train double like that. Few people in the world have ever had a freight train double like Stephen Neal has. Uh, the referee, noticing the blood on Shmuelin's forehead, calls a break. So we'll have to take a break until that's cleaned up. But we will too, and we'll be back with more action from this exciting heavyweight match. 299 World Freestyle Wrestling Championships. While we were away, we had some really exciting action. All right? Well, Shamil and the Russian Bear uh, did a great foot sweep there. He kicked Neil's foot right out from underneath him to score a takedown. Didn't have an upper body connection or anything, just slipped it out there. Now here he tried to turn Neil, but Neil pulled the tables on it and got a reversal. That's a mistake he might regret here later in the match. As we resume action in the second period, Stephen Neal versus Andre Shemilin from Russia. That's a double he's been waiting for all night. Scores at one point on it. Shemilin was able to turn back to his stomach, but he's going to go down and give Neal a chance on top. As Shemilin was falling backwards, there was a, a slight look of terror on his face. His eyes did get a little bigger there. I don't think he, he thought Neal was capable of that kind of explosion. Here it is. Now, he's still got the lead, though, now. But, Neil uh, just keeps those legs driving, drives him right through the zone. Gets his point. Second point of the match for Neil. Score is now 3-2. to two. This is a big match for the U.S. because although Russia has clinched the team title, the U.S. needs to win this match to get second place over Turkey. Well, Stephen Neal is coming out of nowhere. I mean, his collegiate career just ended. Now, these international people are, are, have got to be just uh, having a mouth agape by, by the way he's doing this. They have to. I mean, heavyweights especially. For Stephen Neal to come out of college and do this well is unheard of. Shmuelin tries a headlock, but it slips off Neal, and he'll get no points for that. But Neal will not either because that's a slip throw, as it's called in international wrestling. So no point for Neal. We're going back up, we've got two minutes left in this match. And Stephen Neal down one point. Coaches say keep them both up because Stephen Neal, like Joe Williams, first year in the World Championships, not great on top yet. Shamil did not even get close to scoring on that leg attack. A big counter by Neal, and Shamil was cleaning them out there. And Neal drove him through the zone, and the crowd is yelling. They don't want a point because obviously they're protecting that uh, second place trophy for Turkey. But they're going to get a call, a call and a point for Neal. Here's Shamil, he's going to try to back up. And, uh, and run from Neil. Neil's a little bit too fast, and, uh, and Shemilin's penalized for going out of bounds and uh, avoiding an attack. And Neil drove him through the zone again, and that will usually result in a point. Oh, great match now, 3-3. Three three. 
It could be a mistake, but I don't think Neil had a controlling enough tie. That's a determining factor in international wrestling. You have a controlling tie on the upper body and there's a mistake. It's one point. There's no point there. Neil gets away with one. Three to three. A minute 15 left in this match. Neil again down on that leg. Stalking Shemillan. Oh, drives him through the zone. Coaches are really into it. Daryl Pope, his day-to-day uh, -day coach, day-to-day -day coach at Cal State Bakersfield, really excited about that move. Stephen Neal is about to stand on top of the world. How much time is left here? Not no, no less than this way. That was the replay, and now Neal's got a chance to turn Shemillan on top. Starting back down, as they go through the zone, they'll restart on the mat with Neal on top. He's gonna use up a little time. I don't think he's really going for a turn. Referee realizes that, breaks him, starts him back up. Four to three, 55 seconds left. Stephen Neal tries for his first world championship and to give the United States second place in this in this team race. And now Shemilin is not as quick as Neal. He's not as fast. He's going to have a lot of trouble initiating an attack here. No, and he's not known for his conditioning either. He's in, he's in shape, but he's not known to be a great conditioned athlete. Well, Stephen Neal is for a heavyweight. Well, the uh, silver medal in the team race is uh, in the balance here. Stephen Neal can hang on to this 4-3 lead. Greg Strobel offering encouragement from the side there. Stephen Neal almost scored there, but I think Shemilin turned him up on the edge. They're not going to give him a point. That would have been a big point because it would have given him a nice cushion here. We restart. And Shemilin is, is really trying to push and get an upper body tie here. So that's what he wants. He tries to throw. Stephen Neal scores. Maybe. Nope, they didn't give it to him. I thought that could have been one, but they're going to call a slip throw, and I really don't think that was a slip throw because Stephen Neal did catch between Shemilin's legs. Don't do it, it, it doesn't matter now because time is running out. That's it. Stephen Neal wins his first world championship. Yes. Well, Pope, well, Pope does what Shemilin couldn't. Gets a take that. <laughs> You know, and there's no acronym in front of this world championship. Uh, there's no WWF or Hulk Hogan or, or Goldberg. This is Stephen Neal, the world wrestling champion. Best wrestler in the world at heavyweight. Stephen Neal from the United States. First world championship. Incredible.